Hey y'all, Irix Guy here back again with another DJI Neo video. And within this video, I want to talk about why DJI Neo could be considered, not saying it is, but a lot of reasons why DJI Neo could be considered as being DJI's best drone ever released. And people will be like, man, why are you saying that? You know, DJI's got drones that are you know, a few thousand dollars US, and you're looking at this Neo, which is the most approachable price point. You're an idiot. And I respect y'all's comments and opinions, and that's why I post these videos. I'm not part of any sort of network. These are my opinions. I can say whatever I want to. I'm not being influenced by any other people's opinions. I mean, I just tell you how it is. So first of all, I'll preface this video. If you haven't been a subscriber to my channel, subscribe, ring that bell and check out all of my older drone videos too. I've been flying drones since DJI Phantom 1 until present, present being DJI Neo. So given my many years of the drone hobby addiction, I do feel that I'm justified and, uh, and I can share these opinions and I'm not just speaking something I know nothing about. I mean, like I said, I've been flying drones since DJI Phantom 1. So why could this why could DJI Neo be considered the best drone that DJI has released to date? Well, there are several reasons. And like I said, I, I speak this from experience. And, and uh, one of the reasons would be things that people may not have thought about. So, by the way, if you're shopping for the case, the Neo, the accessories, expand this video's description, and you can find them all linked there. But one of the immediate things that one may not think about they may say, oh, Neo's small, man. It's very small. It fits in my paw. You know, it's super small. They may look at the small size and fail to acknowledge something that, in addition to the small size, is a value add. And you're probably looking at this like, man, what's he talking about? Well, this drone, unlike the other very small and very lightweight drones, like the, the mini series, DJI mini series, which are phenomenal drones. This drone, DJI Neo, does not have to be unfolded and folded back up. And why is that a value add? Well, it's quick out of the case and it's ready to fly. So you don't have to take that additional step. From my experience, DJI, DJI drones, including the mini series, are all exceptionally well made. But due to the nature of folding, unfolding and folding anything, whether it's a drone or a smartphone or a, uh, I mean, insert device here, over time, things that are unfolded and then folded, they tend to wear out. Not saying that would be during the, the lifespan that one is using a drone, but it is something to take into consideration. So the fact that DJI Neo does not have to be unfolded and folded back up could potentially prolong the life of Neo. Now, if you're like me with technology, by the time something is even getting close to worn out, you've probably moved on to the next greater thing. At least that's how I am. But if you're looking at this as something that is a prolonged investment, the fact that it's not something that is unfolded and then folded back up could potentially prolong the life. One of the other things that people may not realize is the, and I'm taking this camera protector off, if you look at this from the side, if you look at Neo from the side, you can't see the camera. From the bottom you can, from the top you can. But the fact that the camera is somewhat internalized could potentially, not saying it will, but it could potentially better protect the camera. So that is a very cool feature that Neo brings to the table. Like several of the most current DJI drones, Neo has a very small, and very lightweight battery. So if you chose, if you choose rather, to throw extra batteries in your case, and I'll show you here, see I've got this battery and I've chosen to just have one battery, but if I wanted to have more, I could put in this case right there, see there's one battery, I could put another one there and then the battery on the drone. So even without using the zippered area, I could have battery on the drone and two extra batteries. But I don't feel it's necessary. Everybody's use case is different. The reason I don't feel it's necessary is that one of the cool things that Neo has in the back is a USB-C. USB-C is in Charlie port. So this is easy to recharge 
from most any computer, most any car, boat, ATV, a solar battery bank in the field. So if you're looking for a minimalist drone, meaning that you don't have to carry a bunch of junk with it, all you really have to carry with the Neo, and this is why Neo is, is potentially DJI's best, one of the reasons why, one of the many reasons why, rather, DJI Neo is potentially the best drone that DJI's released. I mean, even without a controller, you can take your Neo, you can point that sucker at you in a safe and responsible location. You can power on the Neo. You can push this top button here close as the camera. Drony, circle, rocket, spotlight, direction track, follow. Follow. Okay, I want the drone to follow me. Well, I don't want to pop out my smartphone. I don't want to pop out my controller. What do I do? Medium. Follow. Three, two, one. Unable to take off. Aircraft in motion. I was moving my hand. Medium. Without a controller, I was able to pop out my drone, my DJI Neo. I was able to select the intelligent flight mode. Obviously, I'm on a small deck here, but I did follow with a, I think it was medium range. Y'all tell me, you heard it talk. And it was able to take off from my hand. It was able to follow me. So in a situation where I'm out in the wilderness, and I've got a tight area, you got trees, you know, you got a trail, you got a little bit of space, but you want the drone to follow you closely. This is super convenient because you can do it without a controller. So I'm able to pop out the drone, select the desired intelligent flight mode, and it does its thing. So the fact that this, in essence, is a cameraman, or to be politically correct, I guess I should say camera person, or camera operator. We gotta be so sensitive with it. I don't have to, because I run my own channel and I can say whatever, but to conform to the norms of society, I'll say camera operator. So this is like a camera operator in one's pocket that one does not have to pop out their smartphone. They don't have to pop out a controller. It's just boom, as you saw there, select the intelligent flight mode. This thing can follow you around. You're hiking, you're kayaking, you're um, whatever. The value add of being able to land in one's hand after they've finished filming is great because not all the time is the ground going to be suitable. It could be wet. There could be, you know, maybe you're in, in water up to your knees. Well, you can't land a drone in water. It'll ruin the drone. But if you can land it in your hand, that's super cool. Now, I wouldn't recommend landing in a hand over water in case it misses your hand and lands in the water. But, you know, you do what you want to do you assume your own risk in life. But that in itself, in my opinion, is what makes DJI Neo, in my opinion, my opinion, your opinion may be different, that's what makes DJI Neo the best drone that DJI has ever released. And I say this confidently, having, had fl having flown DJI drones since DJI Phantom 1. Now, I say that makes DJI Neo the best drone that DJI has released to date, not saying that DJI Neo is DJI's best drone. So this is where this video where you're like, man, I thought he just said that's the best drone that DJI has released to date. Yes, it is, but it's not DJI's best drone. Now, the reason I'm saying that, this is DJI's best drone because they put something in an ultra small, ultra lightweight package that as you just witnessed, 
can be controlled without the need for a smartphone, without the need for a controller. The technology that DJI has packed into such a very small and very lightweight drone that they've unveiled at is still expensive. Drones are expensive. Expand this video's description and click the link there for current pricing. But in comparison to other drones, the price tag of DJI Neo, especially if you get the one like I got without the controller, it's an approachable price point. Especially if you consider the use case of having a camera operator in one small, you know, maybe put in a jacket pocket or whatever, very small, very lightweight, easy to carry around. The camera that's with you, like they say, is always the most valuable camera. So this is something that's easy to carry along with other gear. The battery life is phenomenal. If you don't want to pack extra batteries, you don't have to. But if you want to, they're so small and so lightweight that you could do that and you don't even have to deal with recharging in the field or wherever you are using USB. For me, I just want the one battery. But uh, this signals where, D where DJI can go. So from a dollar's perspective, if DJI can pack so much tech into something so small and so lightweight, that tells me that DJI can make the next iteration of DJI Neo. And for the sake of conversation within this video, and it is October of 2024, I'm gonna go as far as to say, let's talk about DJI Neo Pro. So imagine this, like I said, this in my opinion is the best DJI drone that DJI has ever released. Not because it's the newest, not because it's the smallest, not because it's the least expensive, but the technology that's in Neo tells us what DJI can do. So what can DJI do? They can take this, they can provide the customer with an affordable, let's call it prosumer drone. So really all they need to do, take this, which is excellent, increase the size a little bit, just enough so that DJI Neo Pro can have a camera with a one inch sensor. You give us something like this that has a professional camera, that's the best drone ever because the DJI Neo Pro would be able to achieve the same level of video quality and stability of the larger and more expensive DJI drones. But it would bring to the playing field the convenience of what you just saw, the drone only, not needing a smartphone, not needing a controller. But with DJI Neo Pro, which I hope DJI Neo will release, and I hope that they will do so at an approachable price point, preferably comfortably under $400 US, that's my ask. So when and if DJI releases DJI Neo Pro with a one inch sensor or better camera, that's it. That is awesome because at that point, you've got everything that you get from the larger, more expensive and heavier DJI drones, but you've got something that, as you just saw, could fly itself. So you don't need a controller, you don't need a smartphone, but provide that option so that if someone optionally purchased a controller for DJI Neo Pro, that they would able to achieve, they would be able to achieve the same things that they do with the physically larger and more expensive drones. So make a DJI Neo Pro, size and weight, probably around the, uh, let's you know go around the DJI Mini size and weight range, because that way we're getting something that, admittedly this, because of the ultralight nature of it, if there is moderate wind, this is not going to handle as well as Mini. DJI Mini, in my opinion, is a perfect blend of handling moderate wind, but you know, also being very small and very lightweight. So if DJI Neo Pro can have a little bit, you know, be weighted a little bit more so that it can handle a little bit stronger wind and also be able to support a one inch sensor or better camera, at that point, we've got something that is the kill all of drones. Because since the early days of drones and subscribe if you haven't already and check out my drone videos, tracking back all the way to DJI Phantom 1, you will hear me, especially when DJI first announced the Inspire. That put me in such a bad mood because I thought at that time that DJI was going to go bigger and less convenient. At the time, Phantom was inconvenient. 
but Phantom was the best that we had. And despite DJI Phantom's inconvenience, carrying that huge waterproof and ruggedized case like I did, I went all over the world, swam to shore, captured phenomenal videos with my DJI Phantoms. But I was afraid at the time that DJI was gonna go even larger and even more inconvenient, which was the Inspire. The Inspire line has pretty much fizzled out, thank goodness. And, and DJI is delivering by bringing a smaller and lighter drone. They've continued on that journey. So now I'm not saying that DJI needs to go larger again, but I'm saying now that they've released the perfect palm size drone that'll still do 4K video, what I want now is the DJI Neo Pro with a little bit better wind resistance, a one inch sensor or better camera, something you know a little bit larger, a little bit heavier, but still ultra convenient and ultra portable. And once they deliver that, once DJI delivers that, that's the best drone ever. But I say DJI Neo is the best drone that DJI has ever released because this is formal acknowledgement in my Paul that DJI has the technology, DJI has, uh, has continued to refine their engineering to, pa to package all of this into something so small and so lightweight at a somewhat affordable price point, they can deliver a pro model of this and deliver it at an extremely affordable price point. That will be the kill all drone. Take it with you anywhere, fly it with or without a controller, but when you choose to add the controller to the DJI Neo Pro, I'm calling it the DJI Neo Pro, surely DJI will release that. Um, when you do that, it's as good or better than all the previous DJI drone. So at that point, going forward, really all they would need to do is continue to update the camera so that, uh, you know, once 8K becomes mainstream. Right now, 8K, even though this camera that I'm filming this with will do 8K, there's really no value add for me filming in 8K because most people don't have 8K televisions. They just haven't hit the price point yet to where it makes sense. Now, if you want to crop within post, filming in 8K from that perspective is a value add, but admittedly, I was an early adopter of 4K, so early that people criticized me, like, man, why are you filming in 4K? Nobody has 4K TVs. During the initial days of my 4K videos, that was an accurate statement. Most people didn't. But now I would say 2024 October, it's safe to assume that most everyone has a 4K TV because if somebody is shopping for a TV, the 4K TVs are typically the same or around the same price as a 1080p. So it's 4K is common now. I don't think it's time yet, in my opinion, to go to 8K. But when it is, I would like to see the future DJI Neo platform evolve to, uh, to support 8K and greater cameras. But this is the best drone that DJI has released to date, to date being October of 2024, for the reasons that I just said. So tell me your thoughts. Am I crazy? Do you agree? Do you partially agree? I don't care. I'm not easily offended. Tell me what you think. You don't have to sugarcoat your comments or your questions. I don't care. Speak the truth. And as a reminder, I am the drone evangelist and always practice and preach safe and responsible drone use. And I encourage you all to be fellow drone evangelists because if we don't practice and preach safe and responsible drone use, this drone hobby could cease to exist. And that would be catastrophic. So um, hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe, ring that bell, check out all my DJI Neo videos. Ask your questions down below, post your comments down below, and I'll try to post uh, video responses to your comments and or questions. Y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, I, Rick Sky here. I hope you enjoyed this video, and please be sure to subscribe to my channel, and when you do, ring that bell icon to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership, and y'all have a good day.